Hello my Hello Kitty fans, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. Today I want to show you a mini haul of Hello Kitty items I have purchased. And at the end of this video haul, I want to show you what I have been waiting to buy, to collect, to buy from someone, to shop online for, but I finally got it and I will review what that last item is. It's like the piece de resistance to what I have been waiting for all year. So I will show you that uh, towards the end of the video. But first, let me show you what I started with. So I am late in collecting or in purchasing pixie products for hello kitty but let me just show you what i've purchased and i'm also the type to where i will try to purchase any hello kitty item that i can if it's too pricey i'll wait maybe let it go down in price or, or not uh, it just depends so now target has pixie and they did have the hello kitty pixie items and again this is not new this might be already a year old for from the from when it revealed. Now, uh, I like Target because they also have discounts and if you use their mobile app, it'll help you with finding if it's on sale and or any coupons that you can apply. I really like that about when I go to Target. So Pixie items at the time I was there at Target was that exactly. I was able to apply some coupons to the Pixie items. So the first item that I purchased for a Pixie Hello Kitty is this Glow Tonic and it is 5% glycolic. Um, acid and look at the packaging it is just adorable it is definitely Hello Kitty no mistake and I really like it I have already used it um, I like the smell it doesn't smell bad at all it's it's like a you know like a toner it, it's pretty much what it is so this is 1275 for 3.4 ounces the packaging is just so awesome and I love it so this is the first item pixie glow tonic then this one really intrigued me because I do use uh, like those little under eye uh, patches for puffiness uh, especially like the cucumber one um, and this one is anywhere patches and I really like this one because they are uh, you can use them pretty much anywhere and they're not universal shape so you can get any little piece and apply it to anywhere on the face and I really like that this was original $24 and with the coupon was only $17.34 not bad and let me just show you Because I do use, I believe it's Thomas Roth and it's under eye patches, which are very, very pricey. Um, but they only come in like an under eye patch shape. That's all it is. And these do not. So let me just show you the packaging really quick. Anywhere patches. And so these do have a protective lid. And it also comes with a spatula too. You see the little spatula. But if you notice that these are like cut up. So it's like cut up in, uh, it's like a circle cut up in three. Let me just try to show you what I mean here. You see how there's three there? And these are full with like serum. I just tilted a little bit and you get so much serum out of it. Um, but I like it because you can put these pretty much anywhere so you don't have to just settle for just two under your eye one in each eye you can use it uh, anywhere your forehead uh, on your chin on the side of your eyes maybe here on your cheeks anywhere you want to so I'm just trying to absorb this serum that fell out of this little container here but I really like it and uh, like it that it's very uh, versatile as well. So I'm gonna close this back up because all of the serum is spilling out. So I think that this is definitely very worth it. And I got it at Target. Next item is eyeliner and they also have makeup and I believe eyeshadows and like a 
I think highlighter, maybe there were some blushes there. I wasn't really interested in the makeup other than this eyeliner because I like to use eyeliner uh, sometimes. Sometimes I like to use liquid eyeliner above, sometimes I don't or I'll use a pencil. So this one is the Silky Endless Eye Pen and it's just an eyeliner a black eyeliner and of course it is Hello Kitty so instead of purchasing the normal like L'Oreal eye pencil um, eyeliner pencil of course you know I'm gonna go for the Hello Kitty one so this one was $12 and let me just show you the packaging really cute packaging I love the green and It is just a regular black charcoal pencil. It is not too dark, by the way, which is okay with me. Um, just a dark pencil is fine with me. So that is this pencil, and I like it more because it's very soft, creamy, and I can use it under my eyes. So I really like it. So $12, a eyeliner pencil. And then lastly, for the Pixie line, I purchased the... A for apple, vitamin A, vitamin C, apple extracts, and these are sheet masks, multivitamin sheet masks. And so only three come in here. But look at the packaging, how beautiful it is. And these were $10. And so even though there were only, it was only $10, there's three of them in there. So if uh, I know the cream shop you guys know that the cream shop also collaborates with Hello Kitty those sheet masks are a lot more pricier per sheet this is only ten dollars for three of them so I wanted to do a little bit of comparison so I have already used them and I even had posted a video love this mask I love the Hello Kitty outline so refreshing And so I still have this pouch because the serum in it, there's so much. So what I like to do is after I shower, I can just smother all of this. Or when I use the sheet mask, I just continue down my neck, decollete, I mean starting my shoulders and I just go down. There's just so much serum in here that I still don't want to throw this away because of all the serum that is still in this little uh, package. But let me show you the actual face mask. Look at how pretty the pattern is too. It's basic. It's just outline of Hello Kitty and it says Pixie, Hello Kitty. So it's not all this hype and bright like the Cream Shop face masks are. Uh, but still, I mean, it's still a, a sheet mask, still same benefits, I'm sure. Uh, but I wanted to do a comparison on the Cream Shop face masks and the Pixie. So... You guys know and I've told you guys before that I'm a big uh, label collector. Anything that I can collect as far as labels and things like that from my Hello Kitty products, I collect. And I have a big binder for that. But here on the very uh, front of my binder, I actually saved a Cream Shop sheet mask that I wanted to keep. And I'm going to be doing the same with the Pixie one because, uh, you know, it is Hello Kitty. So look at how pretty the cream shot sh uh, face sheet masks are. Of course, obviously this goes well above and beyond the colors, everything about it. It is just beautiful. But And then this is Pixie. So just a comparison. They're pretty much the same size. Pretty much the same size. But of course the cream shop goes above and beyond like I said with its decorations and I mean they're just so colorful how can you not collect it I'm only collecting one this is about a year old um, but I'm also going to collect this one because I don't have a pixie uh, sheet mask that I am going to uh, save for myself so I just wanted to give you guys a quick comparison on the cream shop and pixie pretty much same size the cream shop is pretty er but I think you get more bang for your buck with Pixie and Hello Kitty uh, face sheet masks. So you get this in a box. There's three in a box and I thought it was pretty great. And it is Hello Kitty. So I love sheet masks. So that is the end for uh, what I purchased for Target on the Pixie Hello Kitty line. 
Now I purchased items from Walmart and I got my little box delivered and let me show you what I got. So this is the box I got and I saw these and these are not new. I'm also late in the game for these. So these are two like uh, blind boxes. I just thought the packaging was so adorable. I saw these. I'm not even sure how I came across these. And uh, these are a couple years old though. I believe this is a 2020 release. And so I didn't go all crazy when it first came out, but I saw them at Walmart. They were much cheaper than if you would have bought them like at Amazon. At Amazon, they were like double. So at Walmart, I purchased them for, they were $6.99 each. So the total for these two was $13.98. And at Amazon, they were like double or even triple the price. I wasn't gonna pay that. Walmart had them for the original price and I said why not so these are a blind series and this is series one so I'm assuming there may be series two series three but I was like well what exactly is this and it looks like they're like in a little milk jug in a little glass jar and I believe that there's a surprise inside and I think you actually have to wet it and then the actual toy will reveal itself so that is what I want to try to do in this video so we can see what we got. And these are called the Double Dippers Series 1. And I believe that there are 10 to collect. And let me just show you the label really quick. And so it's all wrapped in plastic. And so that is it for the label. So I'm going to open one and see exactly what it looks like, what are the instructions or what I need to do so I can review what I got. I took out the packaging and um, it does look like a little milk jug. And this was on top of that. And so now, okay, so this is what I was wanting to see because there's 10 to collect and these are also the instructions. Okay, and so these are called double dippers. So what you do is according to here so step number one you fill up the little jug with water step number two you put the little um after you unwrap it put it in the water and then step three it's going to reveal the one you got and so there are 10 to collect and so oh so there are three. Oh wow this one is a little flat this one there's something inside and this one i'm not sure what it is so let's open up these little three pouches okay so this is cinnamon roll so i'm i'm a little confused now because i can tell what it is so this is cinnamon roll now this little pouch looks flat completely there is something inside but let's open it up and there is like a little hello kitty like a little donut you can see that little hello kitty donut there uh, i still don't know what's going on this is a hello kitty hat for cinnamon roll so I'm assuming that you put it in the water and then the face or the facial character features are going to reveal themselves. So let me fill this up with water. I'll dump this little guy in and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so we have our water here and this is such a cute little jug. You can see the Hello Kitty has an M with the Hello Kitty bow on top. So we have our cinnamon roll. We know it's cinnamon roll. So we're gonna put it now in the water. So just you can see that there is really nothing. No facial features or anything. So we're gonna put it now in the water and see what happens. So it is washing off, guys. Look at that. You can't see that. So it's coated with some purpley stuff. And so that's what it is. You pretty much are just washing off all of the that coating.
Okay, and now do you see cinnamon roll better? Okay. Okay, so I took it out and I'm trying to wipe off all of the water from it. You can still wipe some of the purple coating that it had, but it's cinnamon roll. I mean, I knew it was cinnamon roll. The shape is cinnamon roll, but now it pretty much washed off. So it has like a bright pink bow here. Um, and then the accessories are that it has a Hello Kitty hat. So then cinnamon roll is going to be wearing a Hello Kitty hat. Isn't that cute? And it also has a little uh, charm. I don't know how to put this one on though. If it does go on or you just have a little charm. I'm not sure what this one is for. But this is it. Isn't this cute? And so you're just left with this liquid. And then obviously you throw it away. Um, and that's it. But even this little jar is good enough to also keep as well. So now I'm going to fill this up with water. And then we'll do and see what it reveals. Okay, so this is the second jug. I did fill it up with water. I didn't take out the wrapping from the little jug. So now it also comes with, again, three little pouches. And so let's go ahead and see what they contain. So this one has like a little chocolate donut, maybe, with pink icing. Really cute. Um, let's see. Ooh. So this one is Hello Kitty because you can see that it is Hello Kitty. And so now let's review her little colors. I'm going to put it in the water in the meantime. I open up the third little package. And this one does have, it looks like a ice cream or like a whipped cream topping that maybe she will have on her head. So now she's in the water and I'm going to dip her in here so she can get clean. And I think this is a really fun, like neat uh, little projects to do with kids, little fun activities to do with them. And so here, she's not really washing off that well. And I'm making a mess. Okay, so... So this is what happened with this one. Okay, so I'm thinking that she wasn't wiping off well because I'm continuing to dunk her and she's not white. She's kind of like an off pink, like lavender color. She's not white. Her body is not white like she normally is. So this is what she looks like. Has like a lime green bow, really cute. And I really like her little dress. So that's cute, that's different, very different, and I like that. So she has a little like a parfait topper, let's say, and this is how what she would look like. Cute, very nice, very cute. So this is series one, and, and then of course she has her little her little uh, donut here as well. So these are the two that I got. I think these were little fun surprises. Definitely a good activity to do with kids. Really, really cute. I really, really like that. And uh, these are also keepsakes, I think. You can keep these as well. And so out of the 10, you do see Karomi, My Melody, um, and of course, Cinnamon Roll. But she is also an all white, but also in this coating as well, like a pink, like light lavender coating as well. So she's coming in two colors as well. And that's kind of cute. And then like the hats also are like my Melody hats and Karomi hat and Hello Kitty hats too. 
that come in so that's kind of cool that's very neat I wasn't aware of these I just came across these as I was shopping I think it was in Amazon but I saw how pricey they were and somehow I was able to get them really cheap at Walmart $6.99 each at walmart.com these are cute I really really like these very unique and of course you get to keep the little jugs as well so that was my little mini haul for Walmart now let me show you what I am so excited about okay guys now lastly I finally got and thanks to my son-in-law Stephen thank you thank you so much because he came through for me and he was able to get me that skateboard that I've been wanting for the longest time I am talking about the Hello Kitty Tokyo Speed skateboard and this is it here Look at it guys, how beautiful. There's no plastic wrapping. I took it off already. I couldn't help myself. It also comes with these stickers. So now I have three sets of these stickers because I do have Karomi, I have Karopi, and now Hello Kitty. So I have these sets of stickers already. And look at this, guys. Look at how beautiful it is. So it is from Girl Skateboard. And oh my goodness. This is the one I was waiting for. So beautiful. Skateboarder Michael Rao. Hello Kitty. She's number one here. And same thing in the back. This one is light brown. And all of the other skateboards do have a different wood color on the front uh same imaging but geez this is the one i was waiting for this is it i can stop now i can stop now um i absolutely love it what i want to do is uh for the ones that have seen already my hello kitty room how uh the tour that i gave for my hello kitty room and how i have everything how i decorate my room the link is up here above for you guys to take a look at that um i want to put it in a spot kind of you know towards the ceiling where i can display my skateboards because i really have four skateboards now and i need to show them off whenever i come inside this room i see them and uh, every time i see all of my hello kitty decorations in my room it just makes me so happy so excited it just brings such joy to my life trust me so now finally that i've collected the hello kitty skateboard and there's also my melody and other serial characters from the tokyo speed uh skateboards i'm not gonna collect anymore i'm gonna stop here at hello kitty um, i'm glad that i also got karobi and karomi uh, but that's it. I'm going to stop there. And so now I'm going to display them on my room. And then later when I show another uh, tour of how I've updated my room and more stuff that I've collected, I will show you where I put the skateboards. But finally, guys, I got the skateboard that I've wanted, the final item. So my year is complete until something else better that comes along, right? But oh, I love it. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy I finally got her. So now... I can rest peacefully and ah, oh, safe Hello Kitty dream. So, but this is my haul, guys. This is my video. I am just so happy. I was dying to reveal this to you guys. I hope that you guys are excited as I am. If you guys have gotten the Hello Kitty skateboard or any of the Tokyo Speed Sanrio character skateboard, let me know which one you got. Um, I'm just so excited and fascinated to see what other people have collected. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.